it's easy to mark an account as hidden and then unhide them later if you need to. You might want to hide an account, for example, if they have no longer have any enrolled children and don't owe you any money. Well, let's just go ahead and hide an account now as an example. Let's say we wanted to hide uh, the Johnson account. So we could type in J-O-H, so that'll bring up their account. This family still owes me money, so they're probably not one I would normally mark as hidden, but just so you can see how it works. You click the account information icon, looks like a file folder on the account toolbar. And in here in the upper right, there's a checkbox that you can choose to hide the account. And when you do that, the light bulb will gray out. And then we'll save and we'll exit. And it tells me the account I just edited is no longer visible. So I'll say OK and then just backspace that out so I'm looking at my full list of accounts. But you'll notice the Johnson family is no longer there. So let's say later on, for whatever reason, maybe they decide to re-enroll, uh, I want to unhide them. So how do I look them up? They aren't on my list of accounts anymore. If I type in J-O-H, right, they don't show up. Well, what I'll need to do instead is go to my filter and say that I want to view all my families, not just the visible families. So right here, where it says while viewing visible accounts, I'll say all accounts. I'll exit. Now I'm seeing everybody on the screen. And now if I type in J-O-H, there's the Johnson family. You'll see their name is in italic text, which indicates that they're hidden. To bring them back as a visible account, you simply go back to the information screen, uncheck the hide box, the light bulb turns back on. You'll click save and exit. Their account key is no longer in italic text. And as soon as I backspace this out, I've got my regular list of families back again. And that's all there is to it.